Sailor Moon Collectibles News and Reviews. Sailor Moon. Welcome to the new video, yo. We're talking about the Egg Studio Sailor Moon figure. It's a 1-5 scale figure, meaning it's almost as big as my biggest figure. It has this beautiful glossy moon that sits behind Sailor Moon and holds her hair. Here's a tiny Luna. She is part of the base and she is so cute and chunky. I also really love the detail on the whiskers. Brushing off a little dust there. She's very, very cute and a very nice addition. So I'm showing you the folds on the glove because I think that the level of detail on this is just awesome. I love it when they make the clothing look like clothing. Here's the hair. Instead of going with macaroni yellow, they have gone with, I don't know, banana yellow, school bus yellow. I think that the little ends of the hair look like tiny little tornadoes. And yeah, there's a lot of footage of me pulling stuff out of the box that I am not going to share here. This stand, I put it on the scale, it weighs 13 pounds. Don't ask me what that is in metric, I have no idea. But in American, it's 13 pounds and it's nuts. But I think it's really cool. I like the copper. I think it looks like the Choet designs and the rose is extremely vibrant. So nothing on the bottom. My figure is number 60. I'll show you the authenticity card in a little bit. But yeah, the green's very green, the red's very red. And um, yep, let's see what's next. It's just me complaining about it apparently. It's just too big. Ah, the head. Her hair is very floofy and her bangs stick out very much. One thing that Burrito Mask noted is that this figure is very cartoon-like. And quite frankly, Sailor Moon to me is a cartoon, so I don't mind that it looks more cartoony than maybe some of the other figures that I've bought in the past. Ooh, and her body is extremely nice. I really love that it's season one Sailor Moon. Oh yeah, hold on. <laughs> Gotta show my shirt because it's like creepily the same size. I don't know. It's very cool. And I was very happy with the glossy boots. They make all the difference. I wish every Sailor Moon figure had glossy boots. And I've been affectionately calling this one Bubble Butt because of the stock photos. But really, her booty ain't that big. It's pretty nice. It's a good booty. It's a good body. I love the colors. I love the bright blue and the not so pink red because only lately has Sailor Moon been kind of pink and I remember her being red so kudos to you guys and it's just beautiful it looks like the skirt is kind of like with this beautiful movement so we're gonna take a look at that authenticity card yes my desk has mermaid galaxia on it we're not talking about it mine's number 60 I love how colorful this card is it seems to be made out of plastic here's the back pretty cool and oh yeah now we're gonna start with the trying to put it together issues Luna sits very very stable she's got like two long pegs that hold her there the arms are held by magnets very much like the e2046 figures and they're very easy to pop on the hair on the head um, this part doesn't feel magnetic um, but because it has the moon behind her, it has that added support to keep the hair up. But it does kind of wobble if you haven't put that moon on your figure yet. It's the last thing that I'm going to put on here. Um, but really just brings the look together. It is a beautiful, beautiful figure. There are some angles that are a little better than others, uh, especially for photography and video. And oh yeah, here's me investigating. Why doesn't she fit 100%? But think she might I don't know I know a couple other people have this figure and I will reach out to you guys on Instagram to see you know how's yours fitting on there so yep moon pops right back in you'll see some holes there and there are magnets in the hair and those magnets connect to the moons it's a weird thing for the hair to connect to but okay it's a pretty sturdy figure and again i really love the colors you know it's these beautiful primary colors it's also the colors of america i love the bow ttl a lot of other figures they optioned to put the logo here but instead we've got a cute luna a little bow and a big 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 rose which um i guess when i finally do get the sume arts figure we'll see how they look next to each other sume art i have seen in person i, I did do a video about that if you want to check it out and the roses are very very pink on that so we'll see kind of how they compare yeah just 
beautiful, beautiful work. Um, but yeah, this is one of the angles that doesn't look so great with the way that the face is. But you know, I've got to show you everything if I'm going to show you the video of this figure. And yep, the hair is metallic, the little hair caps. I can't really get this one to fit in perfectly. Uh, let me know if you have this figure and you're having this issue. I accidentally broke one of the earrings while I was putting her together, and that was a slight nightmare, but you know, super glue is the answer to everything. This is not my first rodeo, this is not my first resin figure, but if you're looking to get into resin figures, I think this is a great addition to a collection. Now, the price is, uh, it's up there. When you get to these 1.5 and 1.4 scale, like the figure on the right, your prices are gonna go up. Um, these things are huge, especially compared to regular figures that you'll buy or that Bandai makes. But ooh, it's so fun when they're so big. So these are made by different artists. And you'll notice the different color selections. I know that one is, of course, regular Sailor Moon. The other one's Eternal Sailor Moon. But it's interesting to see what changes and what choices the artists make when they're creating these figures. For example, the Egg Studio figure that we are reviewing today does not have optional faces or optional arms, while the Gaka Box Eternal Sailor Moon does. And what are we looking at here? I guess we're just looking at everything. And we're comparing the macaroni hair to the yellow school bus banana yellow hair. I mean, there are a lot of choices that creators need to make when they are making these large scale figures. And oh, haha, <laughs> gotta put the head next to each other because that's the only way you're gonna see the big, 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 big boy difference. And if you notice, the camera is searching to find the right spot because these figures are really, really big. I mean, look, at I am an adult. That is my adult hand, and I am doing my best to show you these side by side. Don't ask me why there's so much headspace on the top of this. <laughs> That's better. Thank you, Burrito. And yeah, you'll see differences in the skin tone, in the eye color. It's just crazy how different two Sailor Moon figures can be. And I guess my point here is to tell you that you can get whatever you like. You do not have to have every Sailor Moon figure because man, there are so many out there and they're so different for so many different tastes. But these are my two biggest so far. Yes, I have the Sume art on the way. Yes, I have the Supers Season 4 Sailor Moon on the way. It's um the naked one. I don't know. I'm going to go crazy comparing all these figures. And again, uh, the one that is Eternal Sailor Moon is 1-4 scale. The one in my hand is 1-5 scale. They are not the same scale, so do not compare the size because they're gonna be different sizes. What I'm showing you are the color differences. Now, what I do love is that they chose to make the hair caps metallic. That seems to be almost across the board. Um, if not metallic, a lot of figures do make them like a clear plastic. So here's another shot I like to show you all of the angles of the figure, all of the beautiful details. I'm really in love with this, but I'm also really nostalgic for season one, especially, because that's what got me into Sailor Moon. Yes, first episode I saw was season two, but, but season one has a special place in my heart. Oh, we're gonna show you the logo twice. Okay, okay, Sailor Tortilla in the editing room. Maybe you're gonna fix that. Oh, bubble butt, bubble butt. I thought it was going to be really big, like a really big donkey butt, but nah, this is actually quite nice. And here's the back of the figure. It's gorgeous. It, I mean, I don't have a lot to say negative about this, um, except that maybe, okay, sure, it doesn't photograph very well from the left side, but that's just one side and you can't look at every angle all the time. That's all the time we have, guys. I am Sailor Tortilla. You can find me on all of the socials. I'm always Sailor Tortilla, and I love it when you guys let me know what you want to see on YouTube. So let me know in the comments what video I should make next. 